Are there any paradoxes in the Bible? If so, what kind of paradoxes? Ha! Huh. Paradoxes. You know, the Bible's full of paradoxes. I think the one that, uh, when you ask it, the one that uh, hit me right off is uh, probably the sovereignty of God and the free will of man. I mean, that's the most classic, uh, it's not only in the Bible, that's, uh, the, that's, that's in philosophy. It's, it's in all religions. It's, uh, it's something that uh, everyone's wrestled with. Uh, how can God be sovereign and man be free at the same time? And so the very nature of God is a paradox, too, that God is infinite and finite at the same time. How can he be everywhere and, and be one place? And how can he come and go? And how can he learn and know if he knows all things? And how can something occur that's new? Everything would be old. Uh, you know, it's very strange. Uh, you can stay up late at night wrestling with that. And I have. I've, I've gone over those things in my mind for, since I was old enough to think, I guess. Most people do. Uh, the problem with uh, our understanding the complexity of these issues is our finiteness. And we, we make assumptions about the infinite based on the finite. For instance, God represents himself as, as three and yet one. Uh, Genesis 1, let us create man in our image after our likeness. The Lord our God is one God. So is God an, is God an our, our likeness, our image, plural? In fact, the very word God there's a, got a plural ending uh, in the Hebrew. So <laughs> is God one or is he three? It says there uh, in the book of John chapter 1, he says, in the beginning was in the beginning was the Word. That's the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. By Him, the Word, all things were made. And without him was not anything made that was made. So the Bible represents Jesus as with God and being God at the same time. To illustrate another way, Jesus is with the Father, and yet he is the Father at the same time. In the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, it, speaking of the coming of Jesus, it said, And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father. So the creator in Genesis chapter 1 is Jesus. And yet the Holy Spirit also is God. So I might illustrate it this way. Although this is not accurate, it's the closest I can get to it. And uh, so this is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The problem with my illustration is... This is the Holy Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit. This is God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And any place within my drawing is all three persons of the Godhead, and yet the three are one. Now, how can three be one? Mathematically, it's impossible. In our finite thinking, it's impossible. How can I be free to make a choice, and yet my choice is already known to God? Uh, the Bible, the Bible clearly holds me responsible for all my choices and encourages me to choose wisely and warms, warms, warns me if I choose incorrectly. Uh, so I am willing to accept the fact that, uh, I don't know much and, uh, I live in a finite world with a finite mind and I have a small percentage of knowledge of that, which actually could be known in my finiteness. And a lot of what I know is messed up and confused. And, um, so I end up having to do what I do when I wire a house. I get a book and I read the book and I trust somebody that knows more about it than I do. And I put it all together, not knowing the theory, turn it on and it works. I said, I, I, boy, I must be smart. I, I got this thing fixed. I made it work. No, I just follow the book. Here's my book. This is my book that tells me all about God and about these things. And so 
I believe what it says and the beauty of it is that it's functional. It actually works in my life and the lives of other people to put us in contact with God and change our lives. And so I don't, uh, <laughs> when, when I can't resolve a paradox, I'm certainly not going to bail out of the ship of faith uh, from what I don't know. I'm going to continue to ride the ship of faith based on what I do know and what God has revealed to us. 